Greetings from Father Joe, your local neighborhood pastor. Uh, hope you're doing all right. Just wanted to keep checking in with you. Uh, I received a letter, an email from someone, uh, and it had all kinds of suggestions and information about the coronavirus. And so I sent it to my little brother before I sent it to other people. And he told me that the information in the email did not line up with what the WHO, that's the World Health Organization, said, so I did not forward it on. Uh, I do have uh, a report from the WHO, though, from the World Health Organization, who um, the World Health Organization has found out that dogs cannot contact, contract COVID-19. Uh, and so any dogs that have been uh, infected or have been quarantined uh, can now be released. And so again, uh, I just want to be clear, who let the dogs out? All right, on a serious note, uh, we've been praying together and I hope that is, uh, I hope that is uh, working out for you. It's been helpful for me to know that there are other people praying together and uh, that I'm not alone. Uh, I've used this time uh, to try to catch up on things. Uh, God has put into my heart that I should clean my room and so I've done everything else. I decided to go into my refrigerator and clean that out and I found nacho cheese dip that looked like blue cheese. It's been sitting in there a long time. It's kind of disgusting. Uh, and so I, I threw that out but it did get me thinking uh, about how we eat things. How we, how we understand our daily bread. Uh, in my refrigerator, I've got things that have to be eaten today or tomorrow, and I've got other things that they could wait weeks and they won't go bad. And so my, my reflection or my question is, what is God giving to me what grace or what challenge is God giving to me that I have to use today? What is it in your life that God is giving to you? And it's only for today. Remembering that everything that God puts in your life, he puts there for a reason. He puts it there to help draw you closer to him. Some things by attracting us, sometimes by repelling us. But always God's plan is that these things will draw us closer to him. And so maybe you want to think about uh, the different things that are coming up in your life today. Maybe the little inconveniences that you normally wouldn't even think about. It's like King David in our first reading today from Mass. Uh, Samuel goes to anoint the one who will be the new king. And they don't even include David. He's too young to even be included in their, uh, in their possibilities. But David is the one who will become the king and one of the greatest figures in the Bible, in, in salvation history. And so maybe these little things in our lives that we, we normally wouldn't even notice. Maybe today, those are things that we can offer up to the Lord. Maybe frustrations, maybe small sufferings, maybe big sufferings. You might have big sufferings in your life. And each one of those we can use to get closer to Jesus, get closer to God. And especially... This is especially true in troubled times. God gives us the opportunity to open our hearts 
to other people. Oftentimes, in, in times of trial and distress, people end up thinking about only themselves or only my family and excluding other people and it just harms our souls. It, it harms our families, it harms our church, it harms our society, but it harms our relationship with Jesus. We can't say, it's just me and Jesus. It's all of us together. It's why our church is called Catholic, because we're universal, we're international, we include everybody. And so we have to open our hearts to everybody and, and to pray for them and, and to have care and concern for them. So maybe you want to reflect on that today. Uh, something else that's more concrete. Um, since we're not having church, we're not having a collection. Uh, but we still have to take care of the people who work here. We still have to take care of the, uh, the bills that come in. And so uh, I'm going to have Marla attach with this uh, email, with this flock note, um, how you can do this from home. We have a program, it's called We Share, and a number of parishioners have signed up for this, and it's, it's very helpful. It's online giving, so you don't have to leave your home to do it. And if you use it the way I do, and I recommend that, uh, you just put on a recurring donation. So whatever you would give in church on Sunday, you're giving online, whether you're here or not. And so first of all, you go to the parish website, to our parish website. We have a link for We Share, and you click on that. Then you say that you want a recurring donation. It'll ask you how much you want to give. Uh, it'll uh, ask you how often you want this to happen, every week or every month or every year. It'll ask you to select a payment type. It'll ask you to fill in some basic information, and then you have to check that you agree with everything. And then your donations will come uh, in a timely fashion. Uh, if you'd like to make a one-time donation, you can also do that on WeShare. Um, you just click a one-time donation, you click how much you want to give, and, and you go from there. That will really help the parish to, to stay afloat. We're going to um, be going into our reserves and uh, that's going to be tough. So thank you for that. Um, so uh, finally, uh, I want to thank all the people who sent in uh, pictures. It really helps at Mass because as I'm standing in the church and saying Mass, I can see all of the, the faces of, of the families who were there. And, uh, and it's nice. Everybody's sitting up in the front of the church, which is unusual. Um, uh, and if you would, pray at the times that we're doing together, 9, noon, 3, 6, and 9 p.m. Uh, if you don't do it exactly at that time, that's all right, too. But it's important that we pray together. And uh, we, let, let's pray not just for a cure, but let's also pray that, that this might be an opportunity to draw us closer to Jesus in, in our hearts and draw us uh, closer together as a community and to have hearts that are open to the whole world. Thank you and God bless. <laughs>